Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It is 8, 9 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. It's been a very trying, uh, tough week here in Connecticut. We still There's still almost 100,000 people without power or internet today. And it's affecting my art business and some of the other stuff I'm doing. So I've, I've been having a hard time getting making these videos too. All right, I just want to talk briefly about one thing. I want to point out, uh, over the weekend... Trump had a uh, press conference down at Bedmis Bedminster, his his private golf club, and I think that, I believe there was another one back in Washington D.C. I know for sure the one down at his golf club was attended by his golf buddies, and they would they they would uh, they would cheer him on. You could hear him yelling in the back of the room like uh, like a bunch of drunken. Uh, frat boys. Well, you know, they, they would boo the press asking questions. In the front, you could see that the front row was all female reporters, which just made it even more, uh, I, I don't even know what the word to describe it. They sounded like a bunch of frat boys, uh, just jeering anytime these women asked, asked a question or, or took, took Trump to task. For instance, Trump claimed that he took credit for one of Obama's a bill that helps veterans. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure what the, the name of the bill is, but it's a fact that, that Obama signed this bill. Trump had nothing to do with it back uh, five, five, six years ago. And, over the, and during this press, press, press conference, Trump says, well, we signed this bill. And... You know, he had nothing to do with it. Once again, he's taking credit for something he had absolutely, you know, there's no question about this. Right away, one of the reporters in the front row says, well, oh, Mr. Trump, you know, what are you saying? You're, you're taking credit for this. And you hear Trump's golf buddies in the back of the room, boo, hey, you know, and uh, this, is what, this is what we've come down to. Um, all I want to say, the reason I bring this up, sometimes I feel like I don't want to look like I'm nitpicking and just you know, going after Trump for everything he does wrong, which is a lot. There's still 40%, 30, 40% of the country that might vote, that probably will vote for Trump. And it's to those people that I talk to. Just like when you see uh, the Republican voters, the people that uh, voting for Biden, the reason they do these videos is to just point out and continue pointing out that, that Trump cannot have another second term. Um, this has nothing to do with Republicans or Democrats. This Trump, it's, it's become a matter of survival for our democracy. And I, I'm not just, just saying that. Okay, this is what I want to point out. This is the example I want to point out. Okay, Trump's golf buddies in the back of the room. I'm sure you guys have probably seen these videos already. Over the weekend, I think it was more than one press conference. I know it was at least one or two when he was down in bed minister, but I think it was another one in Washington, D.C. All right, what if, let's say it was a, a store manager of, well, we have stop and shops around here. Uh, you know, what if it was a store manager having a little press conference, cameras there and stuff, and he was answering questions. It was a promotion. He was answering questions for, for a, a whole, like a hundred of his consumer, of his customers, his customers, the people that keep his store in business, the people that more or less employ him, the, the customer. Uh, they're in the audience, and the store manager is in front. Now, what would happen if it was the same situation? And the store manager had a bunch of drunk, drunken, some of his buddies, well, let's not say they were drunk, just his buddies in the back of the room, Cheer, jeering every time a customer stood up and maybe asked a hard question, you know, about why, why are your prices up or something like that. And every time a customer asked a tough question, the store manager's buddies would all get up and start boo, boo, and, and jeering the customers, the customers who run, you know, who, who, who patronize that store. What would happen? That would make national news. Can you see what I'm saying here? What if it was a board meeting? You know, and one of the, the, the head of the board, uh, the chairman of the board, brought in a bunch of his buddies, his poker buddies, and sat him in the corner. So anytime anybody stood up and asked a question, all of his poker buddies would start, boo, boo. Can you imagine that? 
Of course, we hold our president to a much higher standard, or we should. And yet, this is what this is what's going on. Um, once again, I really feel that Trump has just taken this this down downturn, where I think it's a lot of pressure on. That he's feeling the pressure that there's a good chance that he's not going to be reelected, and I think he's just going for broke, um, going full Trump once again, and. Uh, it's just appalling. You know, when I saw this video of, uh, you know, you could hear, I was like, I was wondering who is jeering because you hear a crowd of, a crowd of men man, going, you know, boo, boo. When the, when the, uh, when these lady, lady uh, reporters ask questions, and I'm like, who, who is that? And they explained that it's, it's Trump's well, um, very wealthy, I'm assuming, very wealthy, possibly drunk, buddies from his golf club sitting in and jeering the press you know in any other business situation this would this would put any other business out like i said if that was a store manager that would put that business out of out of they, they'd be done if it happened in a boardroom you know and yet the president of our country is doing this and what i one last thing what i thought when i heard this is it went back to the whole thought of, of Trump as a bully once again. That he needs this support. You know, his beta males trying to, you know, to for his beta males in there. You know, like you usually have the bully. And then you have his little tag-alongs. His little suck-ups. His little, you know, his little puppies that follow along. Those are the guys that after the, the, uh, the bully sucker punches somebody and knocks them down on the ground. Those beta males are the ones that'll jump in after there's no danger, and they'll kick the guy when he's down. Those guys, um, the followers, the weak, uh, the the weak kind of people that follow a bully. That's ex I mean, I'm not kidding. That's exactly what I thought when I when I just heard when I heard this. And the, and it's the president of our country doing this. It's embarrassing. Then I thought about the world seeing this. Imagine, you know, it's embarrassing. It's it's just it's a it's a whole another level. And like I said, this has nothing to do with Republicans or Democrats. I know it's not a big issue, you know, it's not but it's just one more thing. That's you know, this another straw that's ready to break the camel's back or has broken the camel's back that just demonstrates how this man is is an embarrassment to the Oval Office. An embarrassment to all Americans. Uh, there's going to be so much work to do, I think. You know, we talk about you know, how Biden's going to, if Biden wins, he's going to have his work cut out for him. And that is that is an understatement. I'm worried about the post office right now. I'm already hearing rumors. I was going to, supposed to mail out a bill today to pay, to pay my cell phone bill. And I believe, because I'm hearing all these rumors, that uh, the post office is running slow these days. You know, it's not even near Christmas. There's, there should be no reason why the post office is running slow. But I'm hearing it uh, to the point where I don't want my cell service cut off. So I'm actually just going to go to the store and pay it in person as opposed to trust my postal service like I did month, a couple months ago. And I have to believe once again that it has something to do with Trump. Either it's true, somehow the post office is slowing down. Or it's a rumor that Trump is trying to slow down the post office. And again, this is, this is suppressing votes. This this is just an effort, an underhanded effort to, to to steal the election. It's unbelievable the place we found ourselves in. It's scary. Alright, I'll be back with another video. Talk a little more. You guys have a good Monday.